Hello! Uh, I'm going to make a video trying to demonstrate uh, the tricky uh, back plates for Godzilla. So, uh, for the Godzilla pattern that I sell for $1.99 on Etsy.com, Ravelry.com, or Craftsy.com for now. Uh, it's got uh, variations for a standing Godzilla or a sitting Godzilla, or uh, and it's got a couple of variations for different mouths. And it's got a baby proof version so you, they won't <coughs> hurt themselves okay so I made this is a little uh, there's Godzilla body this is head to tail there's this I'll just use some scrap yarn uh, and I wanted to show when you're crocheting uh, row after row around like this uh, if you follow a straight line up the side of it you see how they're uh, these Anyway, it would it would curve. Like if you started back here, it would just curve and keep going around to the front. It would kind of spiral around. That's the way it works with uh, crochet stitches. But the the idea for when you you're doing the, the the plates up the back of Godzilla like that. It's the final. Uh, what the final is supposed to look like somewhat. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's scary. Um. I want you to identify uh, a line of holes running up the back. You want to go a couple of holes and then you're going to jog over to, to compensate for it spiraling, spiraling, the line spiraling around, right? So you have to kind of uh, modify it as you go. This is just an estimate of where I would try to put it. And also, um, normally when you're, when you're doing uh, you're attaching, uh, doing a row of crochet up something, you, you'd kind of, uh, you'd be going, I don't know how to describe it. God, this is not turning out as good as I thought. It's making it more com complicated. Anyway, I think of it like a ladder. Uh, I'm picturing a, a line of holes like a ladder, and I'm going to do each step up a, a new rung of the ladder. I'm going to put a, I might do a stitch here, and then the next step is going to go blah, 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 like that. It's not really the way you think of a, uh, a washcloth or something, going along the edge of a washcloth and just picking each stitch. I'm thinking of it like vertically. I don't know if that makes any sense either. But I need to show now how we do the prongs, the back plates. I want you to begin a few holes up from the tip of the tail. Let's see. I mean, normally you wouldn't have this. This little green line is just to illustrate a, a line of holes vaguely running uh, from tail to head. It's not, you're not going to have that in there as you do it. Maybe I should take it out. Another thing I need to remember to put in the next, uh, the revised second edition of this uh, pattern, thing I need to put in is that the eyes Eyes should go. If you can use safety eyes, I would recommend. Got row one, two, three, four. In between rows three and four is where I would insert the eyes. Like right there. Ugh. There's an eye hole. One, two, three, yeah. But use your best judgment about how far apart. I think I said two, three, four, five. Five stitches up between them and in between rows three and four. But what you can do is put the little eyes in, don't put the backs on them yet, put them where you think they should go, and then assess it and look for yourself. Does that look good? Am I gonna like that? Gotta kinda use your own judgment, dude. Okay. So I'm gonna start at the near the bottom, like the base of his spine. Okay, I will tie that off a little bit later. I'm gonna leave it for now. Okay, the small plate attached with a slip stitch. Is that 
comes a slip stitch. Sure. So there's our slip stitch. And I'm gonna ooh, and then I'm gonna chain one. Whoops. Chain one. I suddenly have lots of admiration for anybody who does these uh, instructional videos for crocheting because, I mean, gosh darn. Okay, and then I'm going to double double crochet, so I'm going to loop around. And I'm going to go catch this next one. Ah. There is one double crochet stitch. Mm. And then I'm going to single crochet, pop it in the next hole, and pull through these two loops for a single crochet. Then I'm going to do two slip stitches, and this is just kind of put some space in between uh, between this little uh, first little small plate and the next medium plate that is coming. Next, I'm going to do the medium plate. Uh, which is chain two, chain two, triple crochet. Hell, I can't remember how to do that. I think you do two around. And you go through a hole in the body. Pull a loop through. I hope this is right because I can't remember how to do a triple crochet at this point. One, two. I think that's a triple crochet. Boom! Then a double crochet in a next stitch. I'm gonna go, oh boy. Try and compensate and go over a little bit. There's a double crochet stitch. And then four slip stitches. And four. Okay, here's the three prong plate. So here's the turkey one. I'm going to chain four. One, two, three. Four. These are obviously, uh, I don't know of any chain where you you tie those stitches into existing ones really. So it's, you just kind of chain, you're, you're going on a stairway to heaven. You're going up uh, out into the middle of nowhere. You're not anchoring those chains to anything other than the previous chains. Alright, I have chained four. Now, I'm going to go back to, look at my little lumps here on the back of them. See how good, how close up in focus. I don't know if this is going to show in focus very good. Mm. Oh lordy. Oh my gosh. Might be too close. All right. I see one, two, three, and four. Okay. See the little lumps on the back of these chains? There's one, two, three. This is the fourth one, the first one. I guess is the way I look at it. Um, you're going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the end. That means I skip this one and I go down to this second crochet stitch, second chain from the end. I'll try and hook through there. Come on, baby. Mm. Should kind of keep it on camera, shouldn't I? Mm. Yeah. This looks professional, doesn't it? You're thinking, gosh. Okay. There's a single crochet coming up. Ready? One single crochet. Yes. Add extra stitch marker here. Okay, originally I said add extra stitch marker here. 
I don't know what the hell. Single crochet and third chain from end. Okay, anyway, I'm going to say uh, I go down to the next chain that I can see down below it and make another uh, try to make another single crochet. Struggle with it. It's not, see, I'm competent if I'm not trying to put it all on camera. It's kind of hard. Bending over, trying to get on camera. I'm going to have a worse back than after I uh, cut the roots out of the sewer line. Okay, here. Now, what you've got here, what you see here, this is the first prong for your three prong plate. You ever look at, look, get you a picture of the old, uh, this is going for the. 60s Godzilla, the original Gojira. That's how they spell it, man. Anyway, and he's got these like funky shaped uh, plates on his back. Okay, they're they're not just straight. They're not like a triangle. They're they're funky. They look like a I don't know spades or clubs from uh, from cards. Anyway, so all right, here's our first prong. Uh, my next step is I did a chain four. Blah blah blah. Okay, I'm going to do another two chain stitches, flying up into out of to nowhere. One, two. They're way up. Now, here's the question. Here's a million dollar question that makes it difficult. What you're going to come down uh, and uh, anchor this? You're going to do another uh, two single crochet stitches for the next, yeah, for the next uh, uh, prong, for the top prong. But where you uh, attach those things can make it, sh make the shape pretty funky. All right, so the first one you go, I go back down to, I'm at uh, single crochet in second chain from the end. So again, I've got, here's one chain, here's the second chain stitch. Going to single crochet in the second chain stitch. I thought this would make it so clear, and it'd be like, wow, that's so much easier than I thought. But I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Now, this is a point where you gotta ask, what the hell am I gonna anchor it to? I would just look for, look down to the next. Uh, Next nice uh, loop somewhere in there. I'm going to go try and go in this thing. This is my second crochet, uh, single crochet stitch for the top prong. All right. You can see it coming along now. Here's. It's going to look like a, a spade. It's not going to look like clubs, it's going to look like a spade. The, you know, the symbol from the suits of cards. Alright. <sighs> we're halfway there. More, We're two-thirds of the way there because it's a three-prong plate. Alright. Now, we're going to repeat that step again. I'm going to chain two. One. Two. I'm going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the end. So I skip the first one, I go to the second stitch, chain stitch from the end that I just made. There's one. What the hell am I going to anchor this to? This one, I am going to single crochet in the first slip stitch at base of plate. Yes, that's this one right down here. This first flying here. Going to go through and do the, do a one single crochet stitch. That is my three prongs, and it looks vaguely like a spade. Do you see how it looks like a spade? I can't tell if any of this is in focus. Anyway, woo! 
No, it's not. The last thing is uh, to give us another some little bit of distance between the uh, plates. I'm going to do four uh, slip stitches, uh, attaching it to the back again. Make sure your furnace is running, uh, so you won't freeze on the 15th day of April on tax day. I'm filming this on tax day. Wait, no, this is supposed to be a slip stitch. One, two, three, 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 one. Yes, that is your plate. Yeah, I mean you're you're doing like a. I've got my three prong plate, and I'm doing uh. Four. That's the section you're going to repeat each time. The plate and then the four. Okay, now, here's where we kick it up a notch. Because I wasn't sure how well that would throw, show up. That was with a uh, size F crochet hook, which is like a couple of millimeters. I don't know how big it is. This, I think it was like a 3.75 millimeter, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. It was an F, American standard. Now I'm going to use an I. Letter I, which is a 5.5 millimeter, and I'm doing that in the hopes that it will uh, show the stitches a little better. Oh, this is probably all the... Godzilla's totally out of focus, and all the, the dust on top of my washing machine is in focus, but... Alright, here we go. back off again. Does it make any difference? I don't know. Okay. Excuse me. Alright, three prong plate. I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four, four chains. I'm going to put a single crochet I'm going to skip the first chain at the very top, uh, kind of turning, skipping the first chain, and I'm doing a single crochet in the second and third chains from the top, away from the top. I thought this would be easier with a big hook. All right, that's okay, that's okay. I'm getting there. One single crochet. Looks all pulled out of shape, but I think it, it'll it'll be okay in the end. I think two single crochets. There's our first prong. <coughs> and I do two more chains flying up in nowhere. I'm gonna come back and do one single crochet stitch in the second chain from the end. I'm going to come back down here. The, the next nice, uh, convenient one to do a, a, a another stitch in, it looks like it's down here. I'm going to come through here. Do a second crochet, a single crochet stitch. Two more chains. One, two. I'm going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the end of the end of everything. One. My final single crochet goes in way down at the base here. This is the, the single crochet, uh, no, the slip stitch at the base of the plate. I'll slip through this. Slip through there and I'm doing a single crochet stitch at this point. There's my Massive, ridiculous second back plate. Now, now I'm just using. I switched to this bigger needle just to show, give you an idea. Just I thought it would show up on camera a little better. Maybe you'd be able to see where the stitches are. I'm not saying that you switch your uh, needles in the middle of you doing it. They should all be uh, the same. You should have a string of them like this all the same size, but I'm just doing this to illustrate. And then you do four more 
slip stitches in a line up his back, up the spine, where you want that to go, and I think you get the idea of what slip stitches look like. Ah. Something like that he's going to have. So he's got a little little bump here, a little larger here, and then they're, they're going to be boom, like that. Boom. Okay, and I stop. I go up kind of to the back of his somewhere up the back of his neck I stop I just keep doing I, I don't I don't think I even counted in the pattern I just said keep doing it up till you get to the back of his neck and stop where you think is appropriate <sighs> and obviously you don't want to do the last four uh, slip stitches up the back of his neck after the last uh, three prong plate you just uh, you just slip stitch it and tie it off there and that is about as good as I got. I hope that worked for you. Did that work? Yes. Thank you.